Testing one, two. So I already let the cat out of the bag. Let me let me show you. Kevin Ellip on set from ksound.com. I am sort of working in Bitwig. That's kind of like what I'm doing now. I released a video already. Like I said, I let the cat out of the bag. Kind of let you guys know like my production, frustration, whatever. So here's my first video kind of showing you guys like how things is starting to make sense to me. So for instance, I am a machine user. You guys know that. And the workflow in machine is totally different from the workflow inside of a linear base, a linear doll workflow, right? So right here in Bitwig, you, 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 this is the linear format, right? Like you guys know this. You, you you put things here, you, you, you can arrange things, great. Like, I love that. But to get things going, it's this whole thing with clip-based production, which allows you to create things a whole lot faster. And in my opinion, I like the way that this works because in Bitwig, you are able to play what's in the clip as well as what's in the Ranger window at the same time simultaneously. I don't think you can do that in Able to Live. Let me turn off my metronome. So say for instance, I hit play here. Right, so I have, I think eight bars of that. So let's go to the next one. So that's the next one, you know what I mean? like. And this stuff is not even in the range window yet. So let's go to the next one. And then I thought it was cool how I'm able to right click here and say I wanted to duplicate or just double the content to make it even longer. That workflow to me is similar to working in machine. Machine, machine does the same exact thing as far as scenes and patterns and duplicating and uh doubling like that just makes sense to me say i like that i could just go ahead and just drag that over say i want to make that permanent no problem but actually it's still playing the clip so what i have to do is hit this and then it unlock that But say I didn't want to do it that way. Say I wanted to just kind of go with the flow. You guys already know the workflow of Able to Live. Bitwig is just another version of like some. It, there's a lot of similar functions, but I want to let you guys know that they are really not the same. They they do some things. Able to do some things that Bitwig can't do. Bitwig does some things that Ableton can't do. And. and in my opinion, Bitwig has, yeah, some really cool things that I know I can't do in Ableton Live. So that's just one thing that I thought thought I'd share. It was really cool. Stay tuned for more. Kevin Ella from ksound.com. Remember, music is art. You the artist, paint your picture. Stay creative without rules. Enroll right now and unleash the creativity that lies within you. KU.creative.com. Creative University. Stay creative without rules. One more thing. If this voice intrigue you and the music make your soul move, my name is Ella. Thank you. <laughs> I'm done. Kevin Ella from ksound.com. Remember music.